Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over a 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim came into Bhutan's camp disguised as a native and found Lil and Myra Trent both prisoners. Lil talked with Jim through the window and told him of her attempt to win Prince Bhutan's confidence. She also told him how Ronnie had been beaten into insensibility and thrown into the same cell with his father, Peter Hawkins. Our story ended as Bhutan entered the room while they were talking and Jim fled under fire. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. It is a short time after Jungle Jim escaped unrecognized into the jungle, and Prince Bhutan is talking to Lil. It would be advisable for you to tell the truth, Miss Devril. I heard you talking with someone. I tell you, there was no one there except the slave Myra Trent. She was not in the same room when I entered. Of course she wasn't. I told her to get out. I don't like her, and I don't want her company. Hmm... Perhaps Miss Trent saw someone. Well, why don't you ask her? I intend to. Go now. You called, my sir? Bring Miss Trent to me at once. Yes, my sir. See that you don't believe me, Prince Bhutan. I trust no one, Miss Devril. There was a man spying at your window. I intend to find out who he was. He was probably one of your own men. Then perhaps you can explain why he ran away. I think I can. One of your own slaves saw my window open. He probably thought he could feel something. Mem Sergeant Trent is here, my sir. Bring her in. Yes, my sir. Miss Trent, there are some questions I want to ask you. A short time ago, I overheard someone talking in Mr. Vril's room. Were you there? Why, yes. I was Tell there. him the truth, slave. Oh. I talked with you for a few minutes and then sent you into the next room. Yes, that's it. She sent me away. Does that satisfy you, Prince Bhutan? I would prefer to do my own questioning, Miss Devril. All right, go ahead. Miss Trent, you are sure that you heard no one else? I didn't see anyone. Answer my question. Did you hear anyone? Well, there was a noise at the window. Ah, I thought so. What was that noise? It was one of your own slaves snooping around. Silence! What noise did you hear, Miss Trent? As though someone were trying to get in. Did you see anyone? No, I didn't. I hope that you're satisfied, Prince Bhutan. For the time being, I am forced to accept your explanation, Miss Devril. However, I intend to investigate further. And my slave, Myra, may go? Yes. I have no further use for her. I can go? Yes, get out. I'll talk to you later. And now, Miss Devril, I have something to say to you. I think it's about time, Prince. I became your guest accidentally. For a time, I hoped that our association would become more permanent. I also hoped that once. Well, now you're talking, Prince. Let's get down to business. What do you want me to do? Nothing for the present. There are still things I wish to understand more fully. But since we can I... Perhaps later we can reach an understanding. And until then? Until then, I must ask you to stay in camp. What do you mean? For the next few days, I expect to be busy... During that time, you must not leave camp. My orders must be obeyed under pain of instant death. Does that mean that I'm a prisoner? It means that you must not venture into the jungles. 
If you disobey, my men have orders to shoot to kill. Meanwhile, after his brutal beating by Bhutan, Ronnie Hawkins lies bleeding and unconscious on the floor of his father's cell. Oh. Oh. Ronnie, Ronnie, my boy, oh. speak to me. Watch him. Uh, Ronnie, my boy. Ben. Oh, what has that beast done to you? Ben. Oh, Tan, I'll get you with this. I'll kill you with my own two hands. I swear it. The man said the war was over. It's gone. Run, lad. Gone. Gone. Run. It was only yesterday. Only yesterday I saw the men marching. Marching. And now it's gone. Now it's 20 years later. Oh, it's raving years. Here, lad. Here. Here's some water. Good boy. 20, 20, 20 years gone. Then he ripped open my shirt. What's that? Ronnie. Ronnie, what are you saying? We said... In the jungle. Now, Ronnie, Ronnie, listen. Jungle. We sat in the jungle. Listen, Ronnie. He ripped open my shirt. He said I was Doctor. Blimey. He knows. He knows. He said I was Doctor Ronald Hawkins. Ronald! You know who you are. Yes. I'm Doctor Ronald Hawkins of London. He told me. After he looked at the scar. Blimey. Oh. Someone told Ronnie that. No, 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 it couldn't be. It couldn't be. Jungle Jim Bradley is the only man who knows about the scar. And he's dead. Ronald, Ronald, talk to me. Hold me. After. Now, Ronnie, Ronnie, now, listen. I'm your father. Can you hear me? He said Bhutan was holding my father. I'm your father. But he was my friend. Now, now, listen, Ronnie. Father. Is here. Yes, yes, I. He's Bhutan's prisoner. Yes, yes. Man in jungle told me that. A man in the jungle? I can't believe it. It's impossible. He said, he said he was my friend. Now, Ronnie, lad, Ronnie, now can you hear me? Who did you talk to? Now tell me, who was it, lad? He, he said my father was in Bhutan's camp. Now who was That I... To guard him with my life. Who? Life. Who did you talk to, lad? Who was he? Now, he said, now tell me that. Come. He said to come to him by the old mind. What? That he was my friend. Now, my boy. Now, listen. Uh, my boy. Oh, oh. Uh, it's no use. He's unconscious. Juan Hawkins. What's it? Kolu. Come to window, quick one. Kolu, what's happened? Have you heard anything? Quick one. Bhutan's man, watch. Kolu have message. Well, what is it, Kolu? Be ready, Tuan. When the panther screams, follow the moon. Oh, Kolu, what are you saying? Must go. Remember signal. Yeah. Many armed men in camp. Kolu will unlock cell. Yes. When panther screams, follow the moon. <laughs> Peter Hawkins has been piecing together the ravings of his unconscious son, Shanghai Lil has defied Bhutan and gone into the jungle. She is approaching the old mine where Jungle Jim Bradley is hiding. Lil, Lil, is that you? Jim. Oh, Jim, where are you? Over here, Lil, in the rock. Oh, Jim. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Bhutan saw you just after you ran from the window. And then I heard the shot. And I was afraid you'd be hit. Not a chance, Lil. And they didn't even recognize me. Oh, Bhutan didn't either. He thinks you were a native. I've convinced him that the man he saw was one of his own slaves trying to steal something. Good girl, Lil. But how did you get here? Has he freed you? I've been threatened with instant death if I leave the camp. This place is surrounded by armed men, Jim. You've got to be careful. And Bhutan is suspicious. He's planning something. 
He told me that he would be busy for the next few days, and that during that time, his men have orders to shoot to kill. Lil, that means that you're in danger now. Oh, I took a chance. I had to see you. There's a duplicate report of the evidence I've obtained from Bhutan. If anything happens to me, we'll get it to headquarters, won't you? Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. I've been busy, Lil. Whenever you say the word, we're ready to take Bhutan. Jim, what do you mean? We've got three guns, Lil. One of them I took away from Ronnie Hawkins. Polo has stolen two more. But, Jim, what can we do with three guns? You don't understand. Bhutan's camp is surrounded by scores of armed men. We'll take him by surprise and smash this tiger's claw ring once and for all. A surprise might work. I'm sure it will. Now, you say that Bhutan is planning something. Well, that's just what I think. Well, that probably means a shipment of ivory or emeralds is coming in. I'm sure. I've seen some of his papers. There's enough evidence in that report I've given you to hang him. It's our chance, Lil. Bhutan is sure to send some of his men away. That'll leave him with a weakened force. And when that happens, we'll fight. Right. And it's up to you to choose the right time. And we've got to arrange some kind of a signal. I may not be able to reach you. I've already thought of that, Lil. And I've arranged the signal with Colo. You have? Yes. And I've also told Colo to notify Peter Hawkins. You're to let Colo know when you're ready to strike. He'll see that Hawkins' cell is unlocked. We've got everything all taken care of, haven't we? Lil, I know this is your job, but Bhutan had you locked in your room. I didn't know whether you could escape or not. And don't forget, I've got a score to settle with Bhutan, too. What's the signal, Jim? Well, there was a new moon last night. By next week, it'll be full and in the south. Go on. Well, the signal is simply this. When you hear the panther scream, follow the moon. That'll bring us all together. You and I will take care of Bhutan. Mm. Hawkins and Cola will attend to Ronnie and Myra Trent. Myra Trent? Is your girlfriend in on this, too? Well, we've got to get her out of that camp. We can't leave her. What makes you think she'll want to go back and face the British authorities? Why shouldn't she? Because that young lady has a lot to explain, and she may find it a little difficult. You're wrong about her, Lil. I know you are. It might interest you to know that your girlfriend almost gave us away to Bhutan. What do you mean? She started to tell Bhutan that she heard someone at my window. If I hadn't stopped her, she'd have given us away. But she didn't know that it was me. So, that's it. I wonder what she'd say if she knew that I was meeting her boyfriend in the jungle. Lil, don't talk nonsense. You've got to listen to me. Thanks, but I know all that I want to about her. Lil, listen. Oh, Jim, I've been followed. Start back for camp and make it appear as if you're out just for a walk. I'll hide in the old mine. Run, Jim. They're coming. Martha, Martha, she is here. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. You disobeyed my order. But in Bhutan, I was only taking a walk. I told you not to leave the camp under penalty of death. But if you're so close by, surely there's no harm This to go... is the part of the jungle into which the man you were talking with at your window escaped. I told you that I talked to no one. You were lying, Miss Dibril. Oh. <laughs> that is why I freed you and had you followed. Good night. Yes, Martha. Search the jungle and the old mind thoroughly. It shall be as you order. Kill whomever you find and bring his body to me. But there's no one here, Prince. You will come with me, Mr. Vril. You have disobeyed my orders for the last time. <laughs> Bhutan's men find Jungle Jim Bradley? And what does Bhutan intend to do with Shanghai Lil? It looks as if our friends' carefully made plans will fail. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Cats and Yammer Kids. Bringing up Father with Jigs and Maggie. Barney Google, Skippy and his pals. Toots and Casper, the Little King, Flash Gordon. And the famous page of pictures, Gags and Gals. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>
Mel. Bri here. Gotta work from home today because the whole family caught a nasty. Daddy! Hey, Mikey! If you're gonna puke, find the popcorn bowl! But my availability is 110%. Coincidentally, so is my fever. <laughs> Kidding. Mel, I'm so cold but hot. Uh, but I'm gonna get you that budget. Just as soon as... Right. Mikey! Popcorn bowl! Press 1 to use Instacart and get your family's sick day essentials delivered in as fast as 30 minutes. Press 2 to keep working. Do not press 2. Just use Instacart. Brian.